the video again guys thank you so much for checking trust you guys are doing good this is yo texan all right so uh today we want to look at this particular amplifier this is a 200 watt both side amplifier box amp okay some of you use this okay so uh the problem with this let me explain it in detail uh, you know the last video where i show you guys well to detect maybe it's a transformer and the way so the way this amp works is before it was suddenly just shut down and it will not give any output, uh, no output, no power coming up and the rest. So I was thinking as a transformer, then I check it out only to realize the transformer is working. But what I observe is uh, this side is the side powering it up. If I put my AC out input here, if I put my input here, then the, um, the 12 volt, 15 volt and the rest will definitely get connected. It will pass through this, it will send to the main box and to power on. But this is the section that is responsible for the amplification because whatever signal is coming will enter this place. Then it will be amplifying the segment then it will pass through this side uh, to my speaker out with this way i will be able to plug it at the back and you have a sound there you understand so this one is to drive the main mixer while this one is the amplification section so the main ac coming is coming through this place then the other one coming through this place and will be powering up the fan and this one will power up the entire amplification section okay so what i was explaining uh, whenever that transformer is connected to this place everything will shut down so i was i'm not trying to troubleshoot it so let's look at it together what is the problem what can be the likely cause remember i did a video that first thing you have to do is uh check for any physical damage so if you look at this one and let's inspect it together you can see one of our choke resistor now you can see it is bad already and you can see the over some time ago this amplifier has really passed through a lot uh, but it was fixed then and been working fine for some couple of years unfortunately it got burnt again so let's look at it uh for this one now uh, whether it's still working halfway or not i would definitely change this i would change this okay so uh but let's check for the main problem the reason why it's returning the light back because it will just hang everything and the whole segment will not come up so let's look at it first thing remember put your multimeter to continuity this you understand and put it here gram it you must hear the continuity sign okay so once you hear that we are good to go so come to this segment now touch one end then the other hand it's not both the polarity sensitive okay put it you can see it now it's working so that one is good let's look at the second one it's good too let's look at the third one it's good also uh sorry for this camera then let's look at the last one here is good also but if you ask me i will definitely still change it because i'm not satisfied with the look okay but it's still working so that is not the cause of our problem uh, so let's look at it let's check further mm. so let's check another thing that can affect is our transistor but before that let's see maybe there is any bridge or anything at the back uh with what i'm seeing here there is none there is none there is none everything still looks good so let's check for our transistor still use your continuity look at it remember well the kind of transistor this is using is a bjt transistor if you don't know more about transistor check my video i've talked about all types of transistor the bjt the mosfet the jfet and the rest check my playlist on that you will definitely see a few videos on that so this one is 2sa 1943 why this is 2s uh, 2sc52200 so it's using two of it at both sides so you know you should know how to calculate that but if you don't know problem that is not what we are after right now what we want to do is know the likely cause of this and let's fix it so let's continue and let me zoom this a bit more so you can see what i'm doing please sorry about my camera quality i don't have iphone yet <laughs> okay so um let me put it now remember i'm still using continuity test so let's put it uh the best way to do transistor to test it's advisable you remove it uh, but sometimes you can still get your good reading from it but sometimes it can be deceptive too so the best way is to remove it but for now let's see whether it will give us the right one if it is not giving us then we'll definitely decide it but hopefully it should so let's see so if i check it this way this signal is giving me a reading then let me move this one to the middle is reading also let me move back reading then let me take this to this side you see it let me interchange now so everything's still working good so far you see this now you see with the middle see with this side wait 
Oh, something is wrong. Sorry about that. Let's go back. Yeah, always ensure your meter is still in continuity so it won't give you a deceptive result. So let's go back. Uh, look at me. Let's go. See, we are getting readings now. Let's check to this side. No reading. Let's go back to this side. Reading. So the way it works is one side, both sides will give you reading, so to say. But at the middle, one side, like the middle to the right, one side should give you why the other should not give you. If all are giving you reading, then it's advisable you remove it to be able to test it properly, okay? But if everything is giving you continuity, you will see when we get to that state, when we see any 41, you see everywhere will be gramming. So that is to tell you there is problem because your transistor should not continue in all sun or uh, all side. Yes, there is problem. So let's check this one giving us results. Let me move this leg to here. It's giving me if I move back to here. Not giving me so this one is good without the sodium we can deduce that this is good also this is good let's look at this one you see this this is good too but we cannot conclude yes let's move it to the mode no side here let's move here to this side this is good because one of it is 2sc the other one is 2sc so pmp and mpn so if one is reading to the right the other will read to the left okay so remember look at it good Need you reading come back now reading good this both side reading to this side now reading to this side reading good so let's look at this third one now so you can see this one by default which is wrong look at the way the others work both side reading you see both side reading but look at this by default you hear the grammar so without even wasting time this is bad okay you can see my resistance here zero so which is very very bad without wasting time i already know this one is bad so let's see then if i put this here you can see it to gramming i remember the way the other work this reading this now reading this side reading but look at this gramming 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 so this is bad totally so let me move to this side gramming no gramming reading yeah let's move to this side reading let's move to this side now reading okay now reading perfect so this is the 41 so this is the reason why it's returning our light back and is affecting the transformer so once you remove this and replace it back it will be perfect okay i believe you know how to check that now so once you remove this this is you may not be able to see it because my camera is not too sharp and it's fading off already it's 2sc 2sc5200 so this is the one I need to change. All I need to do is the sodium replace it and it's good to go. But I would like to change this 40 and these ones. I don't like their look again too. So they are the 40. This is the 40, the problem there. So once I change this, everything is good to go. I believe you find this video very helpful. Thank you so much. Like and subscribe to this channel if you want more helpful videos like this. Cheers.